was praying for someone the other day and the person said they were angry with their father well i was helping them get restored to the lord said they had known the lord years before and had passed even and walked away from god as i was praying for the person asked god to you know receive you back and all of that and and then I, the holy spirit began to tell me that they are issues you know unforgiveness type things so I, as a person so who, who are you angry at it's some someone you're holding things against you're angry you have hatred and the person said one mention one person uh, roommates and i knew that wasn't all. i said yes yes and someone said oh my father and i told the person to repent ask god to forgive the father and ask god to forgive those other people the moment she did that I, I can't i don't know how many years since she walked away from god went into a life of sin just walked away from god was just you know and immediately as she said god forgive this one then forgive this one the heart now if you were in the tarry for those of you that were there you saw how long we were in the presence of god you saw how much god did you saw how much of the presence of god showed up you saw all of that that person was in that meeting Till the end nothing happened inside their life nothing this was me i had even left forgotten because i was so tired you know many times i don't sleep before an honor me or anything so i'm so tired so sleepy and you know this is five something and they are finalizing the announcements and i walk out to the car and i'm about to enter the car and someone tells me well one of the new people comes to greet me and i and I said hi and God said oh this is my first time I went like oh God I didn't pray for first timers so I asked them please get them to announce to anyone that is the first time so they came out to me on the car you know out there and I prayed for the first person the second person this third person as I was praying you know just and then God told me this one needs me and I stopped and asked are you born again said I used to be you know and so everything was happening here in the dark night by a car you know outside but the moment she said i forgive father forgive she asked god to forgive you know because at first of all i asked her to ask god to forgive her then god told me you know what the bible says mark 11 verse 25 when you stand praying forgive men their sins so your father in heaven will forgive you god will not forgive you if you are not forgiven people for those who believe all sorts of things put mark 11 25 up there and when you stand to pray if you hold anything against another forgive it so that your father in heaven will forgive your trespasses as well so listen to me if you think you have a right to hold anything against anybody you bet you better be sinless the, are you hearing what i'm saying because all over the body of christ right now are people with cancer let me tell you a no, major reason for cancer unforgiveness hear me well you cannot claim ignorance major reason for cancer especially of the bone check it out now medical doctors ordinary medical doctors will not tell you christian doctors will tell you but even on listen unbelievers i think they call it forgiveness therapy years ago i heard about it doctors that don't believe in god years ago found out that a major way to heal treat help treat cancer and all that is to tell them to forgive people that they are offended at. i'm not talking about church doctors this is what i'm trying to tell you your father in heaven forgives you when you forgive it is why i insist with everybody you must forgive everything you call it by name and say father forgive this person that person but that's another thing you know people come to this our uh, congregation and the normal thing is that they say things like oh i noticed oh i see ah your people are oh there's grace on them i always like to stop and point out why god has been able to change people thoroughly these are the things it's not uh it's not fancy words it is obedience things like oh god forgive your father forgive your mother forgive that your uncle open your mouth say father i forgive them you must say it and what the power of god flew the moment that young lady said that thing after how many hours how many hours will be praying inside that place i know i looked at the time first what time did i step up 11 something even if it was 12 
I looked at the time and it was three something, almost four. So for not less than about four hours, we were praying, all those things were happening. And that young lady, not I don't know if anything happened in her life. And that's how you can be in a river like a rock. You're dry inside, completely dead. As she just said, I forgive, Father, forgive. She was, I was saying what to say, and she repeated it. Father, forgive me, Father. Pa! She broke down. Tears began to fall from her eyes. <laughs> they began to shake. All sorts of things began to happen. What four hours could not do? 60 seconds of obedience. People are always claiming that they... God, I've tried everything. Don't tell lies in front of the Almighty. What do you mean by everything? Have you jumped out of a window of a seven-story building? You have not tried everything. You've, you've looked at pictures and watched videos of things. You have not tried. Obey all first. And then say, God, I've tried. Obey first. Within minutes, not minutes, it was fast. Second, she was crying. And next thing you know, I began to pray for her for other things. Unfortunately, why I was describing where I was standing, because she, there was even someone behind trying to hold her, but she sometimes people don't fall. You know, they melt. And she mm, melted on, on the ground. <laughs> you know. And then God began to deliver deliver her. Different things began to go out just right there. After all those hours, I keep I'm making this comparison to show you how how unforgiveness is like spiritual lead talk about something that blocks god and you'll be saying god why don't you move in my life god why don't you change things here god why? do what god you don't have to you don't obey god if you can read one two go and when you stand to pray if you hold anything against another forgive it so that your father in heaven will forgive your trespasses as well when you stand to now if you're here and you never pray we are not talking to you don't worry and you never pray till you see till you die no problem if you're going to pray on this earth they are praying everywhere in churches everywhere unfortunately many churches right in the church there the prayer point they are giving them is to pray that god should judge and not forgive their enemies you're not hearing me some people the prayer point is the, to counter this right now anybody that is standing in front of your promotion ask god to burn with fire how does that fit into forgiving and so you see people groaning with passion saying god do not do as you say you will do do as i say you should do ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah foolishness because your pastor does not read the bible you will not read to but your parents spent money sent you to school you will not read the scriptures for yourself if you are wise you i've heard pastors criticize stephen how can he stand there and say lord do not hold this charge against them when jesus was standing does he know the, not know the bible says arise oh lord let your enemies be scattered at that time jesus was standing up and he said i see the son of man standing by the right hand of glory that he should have said burn kill all these my enemies that he was not supposed to ask god for forgiveness meanwhile Paul, saul of tarsus was standing there if he had asked god to punish them do unto them as they have done to me as they pick up these stones may these stones fall upon them may none of them touch me for i am stephen and i have a job to do so god would have made stones jump up kill all of them kill saul saul that became paul the paul that wrote two thirds of the new testament that is the apostle to the gentiles that was set aside not on that day but from his mother's womb before he was born god said this one is going to be the one that will preach my gospel to the gentiles even while he was misbehaving god knew that already had planned it ordained it to be so and stephen would have judged paul and what would have now happened to us 
see the wisdom of men so Stephen shouldn't have copied Jesus the only person they are afraid of criticizing a bit is Jesus as he hung there he said father forgive them for they know not what they do small they would criticize him criticize Jesus Jesus does not know what he's saying they have small respect for Jesus small they have no respect for anybody else ah listen to me you want to move forward in this life ask God to forgive and I tell you for those who don't know this you know many don't don't say I forgive with the secret hope that God will punish <laughs> let's just get straight because it's just reality listen Jesus did not say I forgive them he said father forgive them so the forgiveness has been removed from your hand when you ask God to forgive someone ask God to forgive them say father forgive my brother my sister my uncle my mother ask God to forgive them once you do that you you have cast your care upon him it has left your hands and is in the hands of God now God says because you have not held it against them I will not hold your own against you are you listening he will not hold your own sins against you because you do not hold other people's sins against them never forget this you must forgive every sin you must ask God to forgive oh no you don't know what they did to me have they chopped up your family slit their throats in front of you people have watched them wipe out their whole family in front of them all kill every single one and they are standing there some they try to kill them too and somehow they survived and you still need to forgive what has happened to you what has happened I'm not saying things have not happened but I'm saying whatever you think has happened to you worse has happened to others much worse so you must forgive no it's very deep it's very painful this thing is very old if you see how many deliverances I've seen happen when people forgive I know why people have problems in this world at the top of the list is unforgiveness God can't forgive them because they won't forgive because the scriptures are true Matthew 6 verse 14 and 15 give it to me and give me the both verses look at this this says it what I want to show you for if you forgive people their wrongdoing your heavenly father will forgive you as well note verse 15 everyone read with me but if you don't forgive people your father will not forgive your wrongdoing what do you hear does this sound like the God you've been introduced to who, who is speaking here Satan huh? your brother is it not one of your uncles that your evil uncle in the village who is talking here the one we call Lord the one you call Lord said if you do not forgive men their sins what will happen it says your father in heaven will not forgive you I pray you have not sinned and there's nothing to forgive I pray if you have anything that needs to be forgiven and you don't forgive forget it forget it you'll be in shock when you stand before God so the, oh all your sin let me explain how forgiveness works you send and receive forgiveness through the same pipe send forgiveness you push it through the pipe like a straw it gets there you refuse to give forgiveness it blocks the pipe the straw God is trying to send you forgiveness your unforgiveness blocks it are you seeing how it works so you are the reason you are not forgiven not God God is so good he even provided forgiveness for people before they were born while you are yet seen as Christ died Romans 5 verse 8 the forgiveness can reach you because of you your unforgiveness has blocked the straw that God is using you must forgive for your own sake this is what I call enlightened self-interest you can shorten it and call it selfishness the good kind this good kind of selfishness say God you say I should forgive them okay <laughs> sorry 
uh, you know, whatever you did or haven't done yet, I forgive you. I, I just for general forgiveness. Everybody collect your for 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 my sake. <laughs> for my sake. I forgive you for my sake. Ah, I want a peaceful life, oh. I want a joyful life. I want a life when I pray, God answers. 